All right, welcome back to Dream Talk. I'm Brian Ladd. Uh, today is Tuesday. I'm sorry, today is Monday, November 2nd, 2009, 9.56 p.m. Um, bear with me tonight. Um, I'm still using this uh, this phone for the audio, so it's going to be terrible. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and do this. I do have one new case um, to cover tonight and um, a redo on another case. Um, with a second case, I do have a location. Uh, I do have that up. It's been up on the website. I do have a map, a sort of location, um, and I'll get to that in a second. But let's go ahead and do the uh, the update first. Um, this is for case number 821, which is Morgan Harrington. Um, let me get a picture up here. I should have the. Uh, basically, I just have to go get a microphone. So um, I should have these problems fixed soon. Again, I apologize about that. I had some graphics, but they're not going to work either. Okay, this is case number 821, Morgan Harrington. Um, she went missing about a week ago, I believe, from a Metallica concert. Uh, to this date, I haven't checked anything, but uh, no one's told me that she's been located yet. Uh, the website for her is www.findmorgan.com. The uh, the case was open on the I believe that was the 20th. No, I'm sorry, the 29th. The 29th case was open on the 29th. Um, I did do a review last night. Um, again, that is posted. Um, Deborah sent me the read the um, her picture. Um, and basically, what it says is a uh, uh, call is about her. Uh, parents will know on November 5th. Um, and a blue car. I'm assuming that's 2000. Uh, nine. Um, looking at this, I think that um, her parents will know her whereabouts on November 5th, which is uh, in three days. Uh, and again, looking at all this, I don't think that, uh, at least from the dreams, I don't think that she's uh, deceased. Um, and hopefully um, I'm right about that one. I do know that uh, in a lot of cases like this, it you know, does end up unfortunate, uh, with an unfortunate outcome. Um, but that's what I have on this case. And again, if you want to, if you want to go back and, and see the information we posted, uh, that's case number 821. If you go to brianstreams.com forward slash lost, I think it should be at the top of the screen. Uh, that case is listed uh, up there. The um, the next case we're going to do tonight is case number 822. Now this is the one I, I did last night. Um, get a picture here. And I want you guys to see that microphone. Uh, this is case number 822. Um, this is for Mashera Ross. Um, she's um, a missing uh, two and a half year old girl. Uh, the police say it may be the police say may be in danger. Um, I do have a printout here that Deborah sent me. Um, uh, basically, it says uh, this is dated on October 28th of 2009 at 6:47 p.m. Uh, from Winter Haven. Uh, Winter Haven Police Department detectives are searching for a two and a half year old girl that they say may be in danger. The girl, Miss Sarah Ross, was last in the last known to be in company of her mother, uh, 29 year old uh, Rockley uh, Holmes, who was also missing. The police department reported late late Wednesday night, or Wednesday afternoon. Um, Marcera is black with black hair and black eyes, according to a missing persons flyer, which was released by the police department. Uh, she stands 38 inches tall and weighs about 30 pounds. Um, Deborah usually reads this stuff, but basically, uh, if you have any information, um, uh, or if you've seen her, you know, if you have any information, um, please call um, the the local police department at six, or I'm sorry, eight six three two nine one five seven three three, or eight six three four one two five nine seven three, um, and you would be speaking with. Uh, Detective Sergeant Chris Ford. Okay, now that's done. <clears throat> the uh, let me go over the dream drawings that I have. I'm just got one computer. I'm just making sure everything I'm gonna do. Okay, I do have a picture up there. Okay, um, and these are the dream drawings from last night. The case was open today. On the second dream drawings were done last night. Uh, the first dream drawing um, is is a drawing of, of a gentleman. Um, it says J J W. Um, Wrong translation. Hold on, I'm just going to have to get my papers here because I got one thing wrong. Um, I'm just going to go with it. 
basically I've got one image, one, one image scan uh, twice. So I'm going to read the first one. The first one says, a drug arrest for, for pot, blackmail, uh, shaving disorder, the letters CO and the letter S. And I believe the letter S is on the shirt. Um, I've got the gentleman drawn uh, uh, on the case file. Um, to me, the blackmail looks maybe 20, 22. Um, now it says shaving disorder. I, don't, I think I kind of know what that means. It's this, if you're a, uh, when you shave, a lot of times it, it, uh, your your skin gets uh, uh, not infected, but I don't know the word for it. Either, either way, it's, it's some type of disorder that some people have. Usually, if, they, um, if you're black, sometimes you get that, uh, and that may be related to the case or not. Um, the next one says. Uh, Highway uh, 542 State, um, Elbert, it's E-L-B-U-R-T, Water, Florida. Um, I did research that. And I did find a location. We'll get to that in a second. The, the next dream drawing says, uh, Lester's brother knows about about night at party. Um, he said he would, quote, now fix her, and then it says all lies. Uh, the next dream drawing says, uh, police are going to find the papers. Uh, marks are on the beer can, 1.7 miles, November 3rd, 7.15. That could be a time. Uh, I believe the police are going to find some information um, tomorrow at 7.15, 7.15, uh, either p.m. or a.m., I'm not sure. Uh, and there are some type of fingerprints or something on a beer can. As far as 1.7 miles, I'm not exactly sure. Um, I did do some research on this one, um, and I have a location. It is posted. Uh, there is a state highway 542, and there's a place called West Lake Elbert. I did say water. I did map that area out. It's not that large of an area. I'm not sure what's there or who's there or if anything's there. I don't know. Um, let me get my papers that I scanned in here. I had taken the first manual and I actually scanned it twice. Okay. Yeah, this one says... Um, I can hold it up. If you're looking on the case file, you'll see the, the images somebody scanned twice. Uh, I just just didn't scan it for some, some reason. Anyway, it says JW. He did not want to do it, um, but she kept talking about him. Um, and I'm not exactly sure if that means murder or not. Um, it's something I think something did happen uh, that, that's not good. Um, there's no symbols of death or none of this. The way you usually get as far as dreams go, um, as far as death in this case, but it, to me it just doesn't, doesn't look good, and I think that uh, she could definitely be in danger. Um, looking down through here, that's really all I have on this one. Hopefully, you can hear me okay. We'll get all this fixed. Deb will be back. Um, uh, we'll do a show like normal. Um, and that's really all I have on this case uh, for tonight. Um, and that said, I'm going to go ahead and end this show early tonight. Um, we will be back tomorrow at 9 o'clock. Uh, Deborah will hopefully be here, uh, and we'll be a little more organized and prepared. Um, and I'm looking at the VU meter here. I don't know if you can hear me or not. Uh, but, but I hope you do. Anyway, the, the important stuff is out there. Um, and like, like always, if you go to the case file, this stuff is posted long before this show. I'm just going over the dreams. Uh, so um, if you have any information, please go to missingpersonforum.com. Uh, and every case file has a link to that particular case. Uh, that's in the uh, on the forum. Um, so that said, you guys have a really good night, and I'll see you back here tomorrow at 9 o'clock. And that's Eastern Standard Time, uh, which would be minus 5 uh, GMT, Greenwich Mean Time. Okay, good night, guys.